Welcome to day 38 of Power 5. Today's topic is power over the enemy. I am amazed at how many people do not believe there are demons still in this world. They'll believe in angels, but they don't believe in demons. If you read the Bible and you find out that there were demonic spirits in the Old Testament and the New Testament, and Jesus even cast out demons. If they weren't demons, the Bible would not record that he casted them out. But there is a kingdom of darkness that fights against the kingdom of light. And the kingdom of light is headed up by Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. But the kingdom of darkness is definitely an enemy of the church and an enemy of you that want to follow God. You need to realize that God has already prepared you and given you authority over the kingdom of darkness. It does not have to control you. You do not have to be afraid. You don't have to have a phobia. You do not have to be taken away by or, or shut down by fear and anxiety. You have authority over it. It says in John chapter 10, verse 10, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. You need to realize that Jesus realizes the enemy is coming to try to take life away from you. But he has already come to give you life. So the way that you fight over the enemy that tries to steal your life is accept the life that Jesus has given you. Realize that Jesus Christ has defeated Satan and his demonic followers. It says in Luke chapter 10, verse 19, Behold, I give you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. The Bible has promised that you have authority over darkness, over the spirits of darkness, over the enemy, over serpents and scorpions, which are a type of demonic spirits, that you do not have to be afraid. You don't have to have demonic spirits attack your finances, attack your body, attack your family, attack your relationships. You can stand up and declare in your house, as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. You can stand up in your house and say that my house is blessed of God, that God has provided for my house, and it is a house of blessing. My confession prayers are these. I know the voice of my Lord and the voice of a stranger I will not follow. I have been given power over the enemy so that whatever he attempts to do cannot hurt me. The enemy comes to steal, but Jesus has come to give life. I walk in the power of the Lord, using his name to stop the attacks of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, I have authority over all the power of the enemy, and nothing will hurt me. So let's come to the communion table to celebrate Jesus has defeated the enemy in your life. I take this bread today as a symbol of Jesus defeating the enemies of my, uh, the enemy on the cross. I know I live for Jesus and that no one can take me out of his hand. This bread is a symbol of victory over all the power of the enemy. Let's take the bread. Now let's take this cup. I take this cup today as a symbol that it is finished. The work of the cross took care of my sin and provided me with eternal life. No enemy can stop it. I thank you, Father God, for the love, compassion, and victory you have given me through the blood of Jesus. Amen. Let's take the cup. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for each person watching this video that they realize they have power over the enemy. And the en enemy will not continue to attack their family, their life, their body, their mind, their soul, but that they are free in Jesus Christ. I pray that they will awake to their righteousness and sin not. I pray that they will awake to the authority that you have already given them and they will put their foot down and declare that they are free in the Lord. I thank you, Lord, that each one of them realizes that they have the name of Jesus and the name of Jesus will cast out the spirits of darkness in Jesus' name. Amen. Be blessed today.